What's going on guys? Today we're going to do a tabletop review of the Navac NEF6LI. This is the cordless flaring tool. Pop the box open here and we'll take a look at what we get inside. We have several different dies. There's a couple things that are missing right now. Um, the second lithium ion battery and also the charger because they're charging over here next to me. But you get the tool itself. You get several different size dies. This is three eighths, goes half inch, three quarter, quarter inch, five eighths, and five sixteenths. And these are the, the dies. And how it works is you have these little Phillips screws, so you could just unscrew those. And then these dies fall out of here so you can replace them. It also looks like it comes with several other, at least five other sizes. Um, I'm not 100% sure on what sizes they are, but I'm sure they're just the general, general run-of-the-mill sizes. Uh, also in here, you can see it has a stop, so you make sure you put the copper in there at the right depth. And basically, it just locks and then tightens down. Once your pipe's in there, and it's got ridges in there, similar to most flaring blocks, so it'll hold the pipe in place while you flare it. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So, also it comes with a cutter, which is a nice heavy duty cutter. Um, I actually really like this cutter. Used it several times now. It's got a bunch of rubberized little knobs and pieces on it, which gives a, a nice positive grip. And uh, yeah, very nice cutter. Also has the capability of cutting off flares, which is very convenient considering it comes in a flaring kit. And also you get a reamer, just a pretty standard reamer. And here inside it has replacement bits. Can't get my fat finger inside of that hole. But basically you just squeeze those two or push them in, pop that off. And there's I think two or three replacement bits inside of here. So very cool. And this is the tool itself. And you can see it's orbiting. But surprisingly not as heavy as I thought it would be. It looked a lot heavier than what it actually is. Um, you of course have your replacement batteries. These are 2.6 amp hour lithium ions. And slide this off of here. And that is actually where you charge it. See that little port right there? That's the jack that you charge it. But pretty, uh, pretty simple. But yeah, what we're gonna do is I have a couple pieces of, I believe it's three quarter and three eighths. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this out of the way and we will get a couple pieces of copper and we'll go ahead and see how the tool performs. So first we're going to go ahead and do the three quarter and I'm going to go ahead and use our reamer and we'll ream this out. We've got her all cleaned up and we're going to take our flaring block. You can see the little stop in here. So you're just going to take the side that you cleaned up, slide it in there. And you can see that stop right there. And all we're gonna do is tighten this down. And the cool thing is that stop just slides right out of there so you don't have to worry about it getting in the way. And that's pretty much gonna be it and you're ready to go. So we're gonna take the tool here and you can see the locking mechanism it uses. So all you're gonna do is just slide that in there and give it a like an eighth turn and that's locked on and see if you can get a decent shot here you can see forward and reverse so we're gonna hit forward and then you can kinda hear it almost like hitting the rev limiter I would call it and that's when it's finished so you wanna go ahead and back it out 
and you can also hear basically the same thing almost like a knocking inside that's telling you that you're all the way backed out slide that off of there and that is a pretty clean flare pop that open look at that very nice very nice but super simple I don't know how long that takes maybe 10 seconds something like that and then you have a nice 45 degree flare so very impressive I'll go ahead and grab a piece of 3 8 and we'll do the same thing so we got our 3 8 flaring block here our little piece of 3 8 copper I've already reamed it out and we're going to go ahead and slide in our little stop slide the cleaned end of our copper in there you can see it hits our stop go ahead and close that up and that stop just drops away we'll tighten that down and again we'll just lock it straight in here and really it doesn't matter which orientation for me personally that I found it locks in every which way so it doesn't really matter and we'll go ahead and hit forward that's it back it out boom done really really clean flares too really like this this machine You can see I didn't quite ream it all the way clean. You got a little bit of burr right there, but that's from my lack of reaming skills, not the tool. So, But all in all, extremely nice, clean flares, very uniformed, very consistent. I really like the stop design in here. It's a really slick, how it just sort of falls out the way. Even once you tighten everything down, it'll just drop right out of the way. But very cool and you can see these uh, little Phillips screws just open this up and if you ever wanted to change the die you just loosen that Phillips screw up take that out oops and the die will just drop right out so you can interchange them super simple very uh, very cool design very impressed didn't know how much of a fan i'd be of this product when i first saw it but once i got my hands on it definitely impressive makes super clean flares very quickly uh, there's not a whole lot of hoops to jump through in order to do the whole flaring process or anything like that so i'd say it's just as fast if not faster than a simple flaring block and a lot more consistent so there you go again this is the Navac NEF6LI cordless flaring tool. Hope you enjoyed the review. I'll be using this in the field a lot more now. And yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more product reviews and service videos. Appreciate all the support, guys. And we will see you on the next one.